The following is a recitation of the words of Abigail Smith. The website of their original posting can be found here. This link, as well as any other appearing in this video, has been included in the video description area. As a defense against the argument that junk DNA, including non-functional ERVs, is evidence against their choice of designer, creationists insist that ERVs are functional. But there is a very big difference between a functional ERV and a functional component of an ERV. Creationists do not understand this. A specific example of that can be found here. Yes, we have found a retroviral envelope that has been co-opted by mammals. Yes, somewhere around 100 human proteins might have evolved from co-opted gag proteins. Please see this source for more information. Yes, we can find retroviral transcripts floating about cells sometimes, but these are not examples of ERV functionality. They are examples of evolution in action, the host organism salvaging ERV parts for its own use. Complete ERVs are recombined, mutated, and methylated into junk. When they regain some semblance of functionality, they cause disease, which is no surprise as exogenous retroviruses like human immunodeficiency virus and human T lymphotropic virus cause acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, leukemia, lymphomas, and various other autoimmune diseases. ERVs specific to humans, called HERVs, have been tied to multiple cancers, including germ cell tumors, breast cancer, seminomas, melanoma, ovarian cancer, and autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, cirrhosis, and lupus. Please see this source for more information. And these are just the human-specific ERVs. We have many more. Disclaimer. Currently, ERV disease research is very new, as are the methods we use for studying why they become active, which is the field of epigenetics. Quote-unquote, functional ERVs might be the cause of disease, the effect of disease, or both, which means it's the effect, but it also perpetuates the disease, and that's what I think is going on with ERVs and cancer. But one thing is for certain thus far. You do not want ERVs to be functional. If you liked what you just heard, check out endogenousretrovirus.blogspot.com for more postings by Abigail Smith.